All right, what I'd like to do is show you how to solve an equation with fractional coefficients. Uh, first of all, on this problem, on a two-step problem, uh, what I've taught you before is to always do your uh, inverse, op inverse operations. So you're going to subtract or add first, and then we do our multiplication, multiply and divide. Um, so what you could do is go ahead and subtract a two-thirds on both sides. And that would go ahead and, once you can get, you could subtract your two-thirds on both sides, and then you go ahead and, you know, multiply to get your answer. So actually, you know what, let me just go ahead and do this on the other side, and I'm going to actually show you a, an easier method without fractions for those of you that are definitely scared of them. Our old method applies. Since we're adding our two-thirds to the K, you subtract two-thirds. Okay, so I get 5, 6, K equals two-thirds. Then, I'm now multiplying a 5, 6 times K, so I'm going to divide by a fraction, but we like to say, instead, we like to use instead of dividing by a fraction, we just multiply by the reciprocal. Therefore, this cancels out. K now equals 12 over 15, which can be reduced down to 4 fifths. Okay? So let's go and double check to see if our answer is going to make sense over here. Rather than using these fractions, I don't like dealing with fractions. This is perfectly correct. However, if I'm going to go and solve this problem, I want to get rid of the fractions. So if I notice that this problem is divided by 6, I want to make sure what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by our common um, denominator. And what that's doing is that's kind of undoing the division that's happening in each one of these fractions. So if I look at the common denominator between all three of these fractions is 6. So if I multiply every fraction by 6, what I have just done is now eliminated, eliminated our fractions. 6 divided by 3 is 2. That's why I posted that up there. So now I have 5k is equal to I'm sorry, 5k plus 4 is equal to 8. Alright, so now I subtract a 4 on both sides. 5k equals 4 divided by 5. k equals 4 fifths. So you guys have two different methods to solve for this. You can solve your traditional way with fractions. You all know how to solve for fractions by now. So this method does work. Another way to get rid of the fractions is multiply by your common denominator to every term and then go ahead and solve as well. All right, so that's how you solve an equation with fractional coefficients.